Mariah, good morning. Welcome to the well. Maria from Bloom, A Life You Love, and Angela from Grounded Dreamers. For this week's reading, it's the week of February 20th. So first, let's just take a moment to breathe and feel into this moment, how you're feeling, how you're being. And just take a moment to use your breath to inhale, and as you exhale, just clear any stress, any density that you might be noticing, that you might be holding, releasing, letting go, and then opening up to the reading for this week. Okay. So I'm leading this reading now with a card from my Rumi Oracle. And these are, they're a little more involved than um, the other oracles I've used, but the card that I pulled for us at this time is Arise. And if you can see that figure, um, the, the light-filled figure pulling up from the more rooted, um, grounded, maybe even stuck shadow figure, that's the, that's the theme of our reading this week. And I'm going to read a little passage from this book um, that goes with this deck. It's from the poetry of Rumi. Every cell in your body is created to rise to challenges. Your life is meant to confront everything that holds you captive. Don't sit at the bottom of the well, not caring about salvation. That's a beautiful um, uh, visual because when, you know, sitting at the bottom of the well, what is our way out, right? Like, how do we, how do we get out? And that's where the arise comes in. You know, we, as humans, we suffer in loss and doubt and um, failure and setbacks. And this guidance is reminding us that those things are very, very small factors in that greater scheme of you and your life. And it's asking you to put them aside, allow them to rot and become a fertilizer for your life. I love that imagery because it's asking you to, um, you know, we talk a lot about letting go of those things that don't serve you. And now we have another step. You not only do you let it go, but you can plant it and let it, let it fertilize, let it, let it fall away, but let it become that regenerative force. That regenerative. Creates, exactly. I was going to say regenerate. Right? <laughs> that creates um, the next thing for us. So I love that imagery because now I'm going to be putting a lot of things into my soil and allowing it to fertilize. Well, yeah. And I just want to interject. That's why we pause at the well. We pause at the well. The well. To yeah. Hello. To come, it went right over my head. <laughs> to come into con community and to come into circle and to nourish our growth at the well. So it's such a perfect. Pause method. at the well, but don't sit at the bottom. <laughs> but don't sit at the bottom. <laughs> I love it. I love that. Oh my gosh. How did I not catch that? Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful. So, okay. Our next card is the spirit keeper of the South. Mm -hmm. Now, if you remember, we had another deck a couple weeks ago that talked about the spirit of the South mm -hmm. and that is the, um, you know, the Southern hem it's, it's representing summer, the sort of the noon sun um, and um, you know, rapid growth because everything is bright and sunny in that other deck, it was represented by fire. Right. And in here, the, you know, you kind of have a fire sky mm -hmm. creating, 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 and that's, that's what we're here to do. So the first step is to plant and let go and, and actually let rot away those things that aren't serving us. And now it's time to base, literally arise from that and mm -hmm. um, begin to create new. I also pulled from that medicine bag, and this is asking you to gather your resources, you know, all those things that you've collected over time, those knowings, those beliefs, those experiences that have taught you and helped you to grow. Mm -hmm. Those are part of your medicine bag. And if you Absolutely. can make sure you're in touch with those as, um, you know, as you embark on whatever this is that you're arising from, um, you know, holding those and knowing that they will serve you, but also not getting in your way of it. Like kind of the guidance here is also to sort of step back and watch it all grow mm -hmm. and then be discerning. If I need to step in and change direction and help something change course, 
that's where I step in, but be discerning about, um, about those moments. Mostly if you let, let your old stuff become fertilizer and create growth from that, the universe will propel you. It will take you in the direction you need. It will show you the signs and give you the little compass um, in how to proceed. So um, that's a beautiful, beautiful start. From mm -hmm. there, I also pulled turning in. And this is getting deeper in touch with your emotions mostly because this is a water card. Um, really, if you see her, she's haunted in her mind and in her um, um, history and imagination by much darkness and shadow and, and, and worry, but she still has that ability to rest in this very moment and be in touch with the core of who she is and those um, feelings and those deeper energies that make up who she is. So finding a way to rest in the middle of that crazy chaos is um, one way. And it's another way to sort of gather your medicine bag, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of the same vibration there. Mm -hmm. Then another water energy, and of course we got letting go. And this mm -hmm. is that you know, um, you know, letting it drop away and letting it's just like the first card. You know, don't sit at the bottom of the well. Let it go so your weight is um, uh, lighter and you can you can arise from that. Then I pulled innocence, and remember this is that wise old sage who can take joy in the smallest things, like looking at that grasshopper mm -hmm. as if he's never seen one before, as if it's mm -hmm. like, oh, wow, what a creature. Look at his legs. Look at the way he looks at me. Look at, and he there is an innocence to that, right? Um, fresh perspective that you're creating by shedding this old stuff. You're creating your fresh perspective and how to proceed mm -hmm. forward. Mm -hmm. And to continue with the planting um, mm -hmm. <laughs> analogies, I got flowering. So yeah. now those things you fertilize and put away mm -hmm. um, and as you set your sights on greater and more and, and um, a more ease filled path, it starts to take shape. It starts mm -hmm. to blossom. Mm -hmm. And then the final card in this spread is the blue moon. Believe in the impossible. Mm -hmm. And this is, you know, the blue moon is a rare, it's a rarity, but you can mm -hmm. still believe in it, right? It's still going to come. It, it still comes every now once every blue moon or something like that is that saying and that yeah, um, once in a blue moon once in a blue moon it correlates with the um the patterns of the moon between equinox and um solstice there are usually three full moons and once in a while there are four and that's the blue moon so it's a it's a rarity but it's not an impossibility so that's that's the that's the first set there <laughs> mm, yeah so being with this, reading, tuning in, breathing, and activating those cells that are designed to support our growth, our evolution. And just feel yourself circling, coming into the well space, being at the well, being nourished by what's in the well, the water in the well. And just Feel in deeper, tuning in as you're going through whatever transition you're going through now, whatever letting go process you're going through now, whatever regenerative process you're going through now. Feel into your medicine bag, tuning into what's in your medicine bag. What elixir, what treatment, quote unquote, what resilience, what skill. And just take a moment to apply that which is in your medicine bag to whatever way you might be challenged right now with a transition you're going through or whatever that may be, whatever impossibility that you're struggling to believe in, how might you apply that to your challenge? And just anchoring with your breath and grounding as we open up to the second half of the reading. Okay, so now we get to um, address 
the um this you know we're in this transition right or or maybe we're creating a transition by mm -hmm. purposely you know setting a goal or um, wanting to evolve in a certain way but first we have to plant those th those things into our soil mm -hmm. and the first card I pulled in this spread is death mm -hmm. so this was is... the first card last week's reading was death. oh it was oh yeah from death to rebirth was last week's reading oh, yeah. so continuing See, but... to evolve through our themes Again, I get to rely on Maria's um, <laughs> because I love the way you can thread these all together. I mm -hmm. um, I don't always remember, and it's beautiful that we have a, a continuing theme. Mm -hmm. And on this death card, it says, "I am learning that endings are merely beginnings." Mm -hmm. And that's it. Once you um, you know, place your um, your old energies and your old your old the things that aren't serving you, you place them in that soil let them rot away like the guidance said in the in the first spread and um let it fertilize and let it be part it becomes part of your medicine bag right it becomes part of your knowing how to proceed forward in in as you evolve yeah and then i pulled from that now we get to move a little more actively toward that that um with that arise energy more mm -hmm. and i pulled purpose mm -hmm. i know what i am here to do beautiful because now you get to reflect on okay where what is my direction um right after that card though i pulled mind mm -hmm. and this is right this is um maybe mm -hmm. some residual <laughs> maybe we want to think our way through to that next thing but remember the guidance was let it you know let um that growth kind of happen step back and let it grow because it will so remembering mm -hmm. to um clear some of the yeah. clutter in our mind and remember in that last card we did pull the turning in so that's another practice that we can do this is um there's a lot going on there it's yeah, very I mean, busy there's a lot of pain in that card too it's busy yeah, it's noisy there's fire it's, there's Just, fire yeah. and like log jam energy like kind of stuck mm -hmm. and cluttered and mm -hmm. yeah the the mouth seems to be mm -hmm. you know um like uh, kind of curled in, yeah. in a painful or frustrated thing um uh shape yeah so that's just a reminder that um yeah our minds may be filled with all this clutter and all this what ifs and oh uh, but that's not that's not where you're going to find your momentum your momentum is going to be from a deeper level in the energy that you put toward it so remind we're just reminding yourself to kind of quiet the mind when you can and then right after that i got the sacred flow of yes mm. so yes now and look how you know that's more another orange kind of um vibrate vibration kind of like that spirit keeper of the south mm -hmm. so it's like now what am i moving toward i know that i had these things tethering me in place and i know that they're not working anymore and i've got to let them fall away but then what right now i've created space for my growth now what when the universe shows you signs or even, sometimes if you determine you know where you want to head next mm -hmm. go right head toward it uh, i pulled freedom from that um right after that so the the really the i don't know if it was the producer um shonda rhimes wrote a book her year of yes where mm. she stopped saying no i don't want to do that project no i don't want and she started saying yes to everything and that was a a big year in her growth personally mm -hmm. and and also her professional growth mm -hmm. that yes creates a flow and then from that you experience that freedom of moving about and you know in your own unique way that mm -hmm. card says i possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness mm -hmm. And so there is movement there with the with the yes and the the um, forward flow. Then I got we're we're on our way right we're moving along here. I got show the world the real you. Mm -hmm. You're the only one that can um, create or present or connect with others in your very unique way. You're the only one. Mm -hmm. So don't worry about um, you know feeling like a cookie cutter of others or whatever. Just be authentic, show up as you and 
that's where your magic sauce is, right? <laughs> right, your secret sauce. Secret sauce. And then stay in the moment, moment to moment. This is a card we know very well. as Our this frequent figure. flyer card. It's one of our, yeah. <laughs> um, as he walks along the river, he knows that he will be supported and will take that next step to find the next boulder to prevent him from falling in the river. He knows it will come when the time is right. He doesn't have to think ahead too far or cling to what is it, it, to hold him back from being being able to move forward. So mm -hmm. stay in this very moment, every moment. Then you begin to have clarity. Then the veil lifts and the awareness comes. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. I had all these things that were holding me back. I put them to rest. And now look at all this possibility in front of me. Right. It's it's really a matter of um, actively moving your energies into uh, more growth and more forward motion. Consciousness is there. Your higher self is now activated and um, guiding you and, and carrying you through. You know, the the um, third eye there is lit up. There is a um, an intuitive addition to this to all this work we're doing and and you know you could have two people with the same experiences you know planting their fertilizer or whatever and then the next direction will be completely different because they're guided by their own um energies and their own intuition and then the final card is what we're all seeking <laughs> transformation now the shifts come the change comes and be sure to recognize and um, celebrate the smallest of shifts. Mm -hmm. They are taking you in that right direction. They are keeping you from the bottom of the well. The smallest little shift, right? Yeah. And and um, piled one upon another, those small shifts become true, complete transformation. Yeah, and absolutely. I want to remind again, we say this a lot, but all of this guidance can can be for something concrete in your life, like a, a, a relationship that you want to transform or a project that you want to see come through to fruition. Mm -hmm. But many times as well, this is an all an in, internal job. And this is just making those energetic shifts within you, clearing space to grow, clearing space mm -hmm. to grow and continuing that mm -hmm. as you um, evolve your higher self. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's that it's that tuning in and 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 really transforming from within. Yeah. Um, yeah. A again, the 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 themes that we move through week to week are just they're so profound. And I, all, you know, I remind periodically people in group and I'll say it here, too, that, you know, Angela, you're not Angela's not pulling cards in advance. We're not consciously creating these themes every week it's a spontaneous fresh reading and so the way that the cards come through are what are, are, are just what comes through and it's amazing so like last week we went from rebirth to um, from death to rebirth right we went we were talking about the spiral dynamics of transformational work and growth we were talking about that a lot and they were there were lots of spirals in the cards and then we're here again starting with the arise and the attention to the cells and how they're in service of our growth and healing and then the death card came through in the second part with again the freedom card and the death card had that beautiful mandala on it and then the freedom card had that beautiful mandala on it right yeah. There's just all these themes of regeneration, regeneration, soul regeneration, growth, and um, and just how how much of this work is an inside job, you know, our, our work is just how much of this. And so I just want to invite everyone to take a moment and come into awareness of your highest consciousness. So I'm that which is aware of my, my highest self. I'm that which is aware of being consciousness. I'm that which is aware of being consciousness. And let yourself merge with that high vibrational level of being. From that level of being, I'm that which is aware of being consciousness. Just allow yourself to finish the sentence. My purpose for being here is, I know that I'm here to do or to be. Just let the words come, don't filter them. I encourage you to write down what comes. And just anchor it, I got it. 
And then try on saying yes to that, that sacred yes that came through. Try saying yes, I got it. I got it, I get it. And just see what that feels like to be with. And then take a moment to create your intention for this week. Living intentionally really matters. Feel whatever that intention is that's coming through, listen for it, create it, and then offer it up for divine support. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful week.